Welcome to another full-time RV living quick tip. Today we're going to talk life safety. Did you know your CO and LP detector has a shelf life? They're only good for five years, so it's imperative that you check them. So let's get down here and check ours. We have the Safety Alert RV Carbon Monoxide and Propane Gas Detector combination. And to find the date on your carbon monoxide LP detector, you have to pull the detector out. They should be hardwired, and the date is going to be right here on the back of the unit itself. Now, there's two dates on here. The first one, disregard, this is when Tiffin put it on the shelf. But our date actually says October 2nd, 2018. So our detector is four years old. And what's funny about it is we had this one replaced in 2019. So that means it sat on the shelf for about a year before it was put into the unit. So it's always good to know when you need to replace these. And they're very easy to get to. Sometimes you can check the date on the other side of, of a cabinet maybe without having to pull it off. Ours, you can see from the uh, bathroom sink area, you just can't see the date. So once you check it, it's easy to put back in, obviously, a couple screws. And then it's always good to test it. And what you're looking for on your CO detector is a green light, means that everything is good. When this goes off, you'll, you're going to get a red flashing light. And normally when it goes bad, it happens at about 1 in the morning when you're least expecting it. Another life safety check is the, the smoke detector in your rig. Ours is up front above the driver's seat. And it's great to test it at the beginning of your trip and at the end of your trip just to make sure it's working. A lot of people don't know that it's, it's not hardwired. You do have to change the battery out, and it's just a 9-volt battery. Now, we test ours weekly when we make toast, so we know that it works. But to test it, you just push the button and hold it. There you go. Woo! That is ear piercing. It will wake you up, trust me. Now, to take this out, there's a little pin on the side up here. You pull this pin out. It's just a little white pin. And then you rotate and pull it out. This is where you change the battery. Put it back up. Put your pin back in. Make sure you write down when you check your smoke alarm and your CO2 detector. We put ours in our maintenance spreadsheet, and if you don't have a maintenance spreadsheet, we'll link ours down below. That's it for this RV Living Quick Tip. To see other RV Living Quick Tips, click the link down below. And always, stay safe.